Um, you know, sort of the topic is, you know, guys getting ranked, mm -hmm. you know, you're also undefeated. You know, does that make you more of a target, too, from other teams? Uh, sure, but, I mean, you know, we're early in the season, so all that ranking stuff, it changes quickly. You know, we've only played three games. But, um, I mean, it definitely it puts a little more of a spotlight on you. But uh, around here, I mean, we're just, you know, closed doors and don't worry about that stuff. Do you, do you kind of welcome it in the sense that, you know, you're kind of going to be favored and teams are going to come after you, you know, with a reputation? Um, I mean, you know, teams come after us. I mean, whether we're ranked or not, I mean, we're just known as a tough at program, you know, like we're, it doesn't matter who we're playing, we're in a dogfight every time. Um, so I think teams already know that when they're coming to play Boston College or we're going out to play them. Um, being ranked is more of just like a, a fan thing or, you know, a social media thing. It's not really like a, it doesn't really change anything in the program or in, in the program that's playing against us. But is there a little bit of gratification that you're getting recognized? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to get recognized. Um, but like I said, it's only three games. So it, it'll be really nice to, you know, be ranked and stuff, you know, eight, nine games into the season. You put, put your stamp on something. Um, but right now it's like each game is so important that, you know, it's, it's going to fluctuate so much every week that you can't really pay attention to it. You can't really put value into it. You can't really be like, oh, good, we got some work done. No, you know, it's, it's so early. Um, you know, if anybody knows about the uh, history and that sort of thing, it's, it's going to be you because your family and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Was there, you know, uh, some recollection of those days kind of before your time? But mm -hmm. you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, BC football has a network of a ton of NFL players um, dating all the way back, you know. Um, my uncle, who played here and played in the NFL, still watches us play, and he's still got buddies who watch us play and stuff. So mm -hmm. they're... You know, they have always, obviously, are always hyped up when we win, and you know they're supportive. And it's nice, you know, to get texts from former players and stuff, be like, "You're doing great, keep it up," and and stuff. Um, I think that's kind of unique to BC, like that community. You know, mm -hmm. um, when you play football here, you know, you're in this family that you don't even realize you're in it. You know, until you realize there's there's guys, you know, 50 years older than you who are talking to you about their days there and, and giving you advice and such. So it's it seems nice. like you know, when your uncle was here, that's when it kind of revived and. You know, kind of built on it since then because mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a couple of decades in there where it was kind of going downhill and mm -hmm. not too much. I mean, is, was that that was such a significant time? I mean, yeah, I think I mean for BC that was a significant time. I mean, for them to have a Heisman Trophy winner, uh, to be winning all those games. I mean, it was a significant time for the school. Um, I mean, like I said, three games in, you can't really you know say, oh, look what they're doing now, you know, it's it's so early in the season. Um, but obviously, you know, we have goals. We have goals to surpass the guys before us. And, you know, not to say we're better, but to, you know, honor those guys, you know, do it, do what they did, but take it further. Um, you talked to Steve about her? You're yeah, right. yeah, he actually uh, was down at the Wake Forest game. He lives down there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's he's in tune with all our games. He's, he, he's watching all the time. Whenever he comes up here, he comes by practice or something. So it's nice. Um, what, are, I mean, what are the goals? I mean, can you guys, uh, you know, sort of surpass some of those, you know, recent? Yeah, teams? I mean, our goals are to win an ACC championship. There's no question about it. Um, but to get there, it starts, you know, one week at a time. It starts this weekend with Purdue. I mean, you got to. It's the only way you can look at it. If you look at it mm -hmm. best, then you'll let one get by, and um, and and you'll fall out. It's 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 tough. It's one of the most competitive conferences, you know, in college football. So it's not easy, but. It's exciting to be in an opportunity to do it. Yeah, I mean, even back in those days, they were underdogs for a while, then mm -hmm. they, and people started believing in them at some point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my whole career here, you know, you've been an underdog. I'd like to still be an underdog all the way till the end. <laughs> it, it feels better that way. Yeah, I mean, there's an identity thing going on too. I mean, you mm -hmm. guys are sort of like, do you think you've transitioned to where you're not really so, you know, underdogs anymore? I mean, I've said this since the beginning. Uh, this is the most competitive team I've been on. Um, I mean, we have the talent here to win any game we play. Um, it's just going to be our attitude and our focus, making sure that we just we don't look ahead like this. We, we just keep keep it simple, you know, week by week. And the way our practice has been going, I don't think anyone's looking ahead. I mean, it's tough. It's been tough. Um, Steve, talk about the 84-85 uh, right in there. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he'll offer, you know, things from his playing days. And... Um, you know, it's kind of funny. He'll come back and he'll say, you know, buildings that were here and stuff this year. But obviously we have these beautiful facilities now that they didn't have. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, these guys love football. They love hey, BC football. Can you tell me what it was like uh, to be on the field? Like yeah. I mean, I mean, he, uh, 
I mean, they, they played with a number of great players, and um, he uh, played in the Cotton Bowl. I mean, he got MVP of the Cotton Bowl. Like he, so they, they did some things, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something that you want to strive to get to. And, and, you know, by talking to someone who's done it, you know, you know it's possible. You know, it's been done here before. You can do it.